Hi, this is Shweta from ClearTax and today I will speak about minimum alternate tax or MAT payable by companies. Minimum alternate tax or MAT was a tax that was introduced to ensure that companies paid a minimum amount of tax despite claiming a tax holiday by way of tax deductions or exemptions. The MAT rate of tax is payable on the adjusted to profits of a company. A company will be liable to pay MAT only if the tax under the normal provisions of the Act is lower than the tax computed on the adjusted book profits. The MAT rate of tax is 15% from the assessment year 2021. In case the tax payable under the MAT rate is higher than the tax payable under the normal rate, then the company has to pay the tax under the MAT rate. For the purpose of computing the book profits, we take the book profits as per the company's accounts, which is as per the company's Act 2013. There are certain additions and deductions which should be made to the book profits to arrive at the adjusted book profits for the purpose of MAT tax. The additions include additions by way of income tax, including a provision for income tax, any amount which is transferred to reserves, any provision made for unascertained liabilities, such as a provision made for warranty, which is on an ad hoc basis, or provision made for leave and cashment, which is on an ad hoc basis. We also add back dividend which is paid or proposed, the book depreciation, deferred tax in case deferred tax is debited to the profit and loss account. Also, we add back a provision made for diminishing the value of an asset, for example, a provision made for bad and doubtful debts. Similarly, we add back a provision made for losses and subsidiaries, including an actual loss and subsidiary. Also, any expenditure incurred for earning exempt income under Section 10 or 11 or 12. The deductions will include amounts which are withdrawn from your provisions or reserves to the extent such amounts are credited to the profit and loss account. The deduction also includes your deduction for book depreciation. The amount of loss brought forward or unobserved depreciation, whichever is less, the loss will not include unobserved depreciation in this case. The amount of deferred tax, if it is greater than the profit and loss account, also any tax exempt income, which is greater to your profit and loss account. However, in case your unobserved depreciation or brought forward loss belongs to a company whose board of directors are suspended, a new board is appointed by the central government, or such unobserved depreciation or brought forward loss belongs to a company which is having insolvency proceedings pending against it. In such case, an observed depreciation or brought forward loss will not be reduced. The book profits will also be increased or decreased by any adjustments which are carried under the Indian Accounting Standards, which are notified under the Indian Accounting Standard Rules under the Companies Act 2013. In case a company is paying its tax under MAT, it can also claim a credit of the MAT tax. The credit will be available for the excess amount of tax paid by way of MAT over and above the normal provisions. The carry forward of the MAT credit is available for a period of 15 years. In the year in which the company wishes to claim a credit, the credit is available to the extent of the difference between the tax payable under the normal provisions as reduced by the tax payable under the MAT provisions for such year. Let us consider an example. Company X is having income under the normal provisions of Rs 40 lakh. And under the MAT provisions, the company has an income of Rs 90 lakh. The tax rate under the normal provisions is 30% and the tax payable on the normal profit of Rs 40 lakhs is 12 lakhs. We add an education cess of 4% to it, amounting to Rs 48,000. The aggregate tax is 12 lakh and 48,000. Under MAT, the tax payable is 15% on the book profit of Rs 90 lakh, which is 13 lakh and 50,000. We add an education cess of 4%, which is 54,000. The total tax payable under MAT is 14 lakh and 4,000. The MAT tax is higher than the normal tax. The difference between the MAT tax and normal tax, 14 lakh 4,000 and 12 lakh 48,000, will be available as a MAT credit. A sum of rupees 1 lakh 56,000 can be carried forward for 15 years as a MAT credit. Do note that in case of a foreign company, the provisions of MAT at section 115 JB will not apply in case the company is a tax resident of a country which is a treaty partner of India. Also, if such company does not have a permanent establishment in India. In case there is no such tax treaty, then the company should not be required to get itself registered under any law in India. Do like and share our videos and do not forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.